let's have a look at how uh, priority inversion plays out in, uh, in CAN. Here we have a very simple system of three nodes and all the uh, frames are queued uh, in FIFO queues. So this is the front of the, the queue at each uh, device and then each frame at the front of the queue is entered into arbitration on CAN uh, according to the CAN protocol. So let's see how this plays out. So the highest priority frame at the front of the queue is 1BB, so that gets sent. At the end of that frame, arbitration starts again, and the winner in this case is 1F0. Now, halfway through 1F0, we get uh, a new high priority frame queued. Uh, it's got a CAN ID of 0, and it's the most urgent uh, frame in the system. It's been given 0 because it's got to get to its destination really quickly. Highest priority. What happens? Well, the other frames go ahead of it because the frame at the front of the queue is a low priority frame. And all the CAN protocol does is pick the lowest priority frame, or the highest priority frame to send, and that lowest priority frame will be stuck right until the end. And then it goes, and then after that's freed, the high priority frame that's stuck behind it, the most urgent frame of all, gets sent. And all this time, between the high priority frame being ready and actually getting to go on the bus is priority inversion. There shouldn't be any of these low priority frames blocking that high priority frame, but because of the way the drivers do the queuing, we have priority inversion. 